Diversity is the key for Canadian culture. Through art, expansion of mind and creativity happens. We express what we observe throughout in our social system. Art makes a culture which makes us all live what we want to live. It's an expression of your thoughts, what your society gives you. I feel it is very important that we integrate ourselves through those means which are peaceful and beautiful. Because it's only when we actually celebrate it together with other people do we tell the artists and other people in our community how critically important it is. And uh, you know, I've had the privilege, as, as some of you may know, my wife is in politics. Um, I've had the privilege of going to iftar dinners, of going to Hanukkah celebrations, of going to, uh, to uh, Diwali, which is on again in, what, two, three weeks. Um, and if you haven't taken the opportunity to go to some of those events, please do. It's beautiful. You know, you're, you're, sitting in a, you're standing in an iftar dinner, you go pray, and they chant something that, you know, you don't understand what the words are, but it's beautiful. And, uh, and, and praying at an iftar dinner with a whole bunch of other people is a very special occasion. Uh, I had a weekend... Um, a year ago, where on one weekend I went to a, uh, um, a uh, lighting, the sixth night of Hanukkah, I went to a uh, Muslim celebration of uh, the building of, a, uh, of Islamic mosque, and I went to a, uh, a black uh, gospel church uh, where the rock and music was some of the best music you'd ever want to hear all in one weekend, right? Like, and that's what you can get in our communities, and it's uh, special. Would you like to talk about your plans and your views, how you feel about different cultures getting together, especially by the uh, experience of art? Sure. Well, what I spoke to uh, today was how critically important I think arts and culture is, is bringing different ethnic groups, different religious groups uh, together. And it's both uh, people from different countries as well as people from different ages uh, because they enjoy different genres of music. And so arts and culture is one of the ways that brings people together. And uh, it brings them people together more than almost anything else other than maybe sports. Um, so an example I gave is if uh, an Italian person plays against a Croatian person, plays against an Indian person on a soccer game, you know, they end up getting to know who other people are and they respect their talents. They they respect their abilities. Uh, and that has been proven over and over again, but one of the ways you bring different cultures, different people together. Arts and culture is the other, whether it's dance or music, uh, or just a celebration of a, of a cultural feast or a cultural event. And I think that that's uh, some of the things that are happening. And so uh, one of the things that I was here today about not only telling people about how critically important it is, but give them two opportunities to get involved in that. So one is the Colors of Love International Concert, which is happening on Sunday, October the 16th. There's uh, performers from six different places that are coming, uh, an Aboriginal Canadian that's uh, percussion uh, percussionist that's unbelievable, uh, an opera singer from uh, the Ukraine, a pop uh, duo from uh, Poland, um, a R&B singer from uh, from Ecuador, uh, a pop singer from Nigeria, and then an incredible Hindu Bollywood pop singer from uh, Pakistan, India. And so I think that the combination of uh, incredible talent from around the world, uh, from different genres, uh, on one stage with a great sound system and a great audience is going to be a, a wonderful event. Uh, and then on October 29th, the Mississauga Arts Council has their annual gala, which is the Magic Masquerade Gala, and it's going to be interesting because it's going to be a play um, with uh, my wife, the mayor, uh, in one of the key parts, and then all the audience members involved in parts in a mystery murder mystery which is going to be you know everyone's part of the game part of the part of the celebration with masks on so I think it's going to be a fun uh, fun evening but uh, whether it's the, one of those two events or whether it's Diwali that's coming up in a couple of weeks uh, Eid that just passed a few weeks ago uh, Christmas Hanukkah coming up uh, we should all get together enjoy each other's cultures enjoy each other's celebrations and uh, and celebrate uh, the uh, wonderful community that we have here in Mississauga and uh, and the greater Toronto area uh, together rather than separate. Thank you very much and my heartiest best wishes for your noble cause. Thank you so much and thank you very much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. My name is Chris May and I'm part of the committee for the Colors of Love International Concert. So what do you think about integration of different communities since it's the very vibrant expression of what who we are and what we are as Canadians? Mm -hmm. Well, I've been fortunate enough to have uh, lived all over the world. I spent a good part of my teen years living in the Middle East and I visited a lot of countries. So my whole life has been built on inclusion. I don't know anything else other than that. When I hear stories to the contrary, it surprises me because it's just, I don't understand it. I'm only, in, I'm all about inclusiveness. I've lived and worked around the world, so this is really important to me because it's just part of my life. It's the only thing I know. 
Hello, I'm Dina Constantina and uh, I uh, am a singer-songwriter here in Toronto, originally from Ottawa, and I'm here to support the arts uh, and, and cultural uh, scene uh, of integration um, and multiculturalism, bringing everyone together, um, and uh, with Brian Crombie who has uh, come and spoken about his, uh, his, his uh, integrating of one another uh, through arts and culture. Oh, hello, uh, Maggie Habiada the founder of Colors of Love International Concert. What do you think how important these kind of events are to integrate different communities? They're extremely important. We all come together, we celebrate, we're happy, we become friends, we come closer to each other, help each other in business, in every aspect. Uh, my name is Ian Cuthbert. I work for Maggie at Photographia Boutique, and I'm also on the board for the Colors of Love International Concert, which is coming up this uh, Sunday. We see you in different events which, is, which are with multicultural communities. What, how do you feel about them? Oh, I find it a great experience uh, uh, to, to visit different communities which I normally wouldn't get. And that's why I'm a photographer because it allows me access to, to people and cultures which I normally would never get an opportunity to see, so I love it. My name is Simon Pong. I'm with the Rotary Club of the West. And Today's event was fantastic. Um, Brian described things that, in a way that I really had some thoughts to, being um, born from an immigrant family, and how actually we embrace ourselves into the country and uh, involved with other cultures as well. So I thought it was fantastic. Thank you. So how much it is important to integrate into the society which has so diversity in it? I think it's very important not to immerse yourself in the culture and um, thinking back, one of my mother's um, sayings was regarding her friends from the old country, they were saying how things weren't the same and, and my mom would always say we're in Canada now, we're not back in China, so we have to... So Kelly, what is your experience about multiculturalism and the need of art to share with each other as a bigger community? Well, I believe that uh, living in Oakville in the GT area, we are very blessed that there is a sense of community among different cultures. I do think it's important for, like Brian mentioned today, to step out of your uh, small world or bubble that you're in and experience the different events that uh, we have the opportunity to visit. So would you think how important it is to know diverse backgrounds and to go with that? I think for our children especially it's important to learn uh, diversity in our culture. I think um, our parents' generation or our grandparents' generation did not have that opportunity to, to get to know people as people instead of um, um, cultures or countries they come from. Yes, my name's Warren Lepic. My company is Cognition Productions and I'm one of the many volunteers that Maggie has inspired to help for the Colors of Love International concert coming up this Sunday. Uh, what do you think about the integration of different diverse communities and these kind of events? I think Maggie's vision is a, is a great one because I think uh, music is a universal language and when we can bring this many uh, cultures under one roof on one, one performance, I don't think there's anything else like it uh, in Canada. And uh, having gone to the first one in 2003 at the Rose Theatre in Brampton, it was phenomenal. This one's going to be even better this Sunday, October 16th. Um, and there's even a VIP party this Thursday uh, that you can get tickets to. You can actually meet and greet with the stars. It's going to be at the top of the Maryland Towers uh, in Mississauga. So there's a few tickets left. I urge people that if they want not only a phenomenal um, concert on Sunday, but to buy a ticket for the VIP and uh, you'll be able to rub elbows with the stars and it'll be a great precursor to Sunday's event. Number one multicultural channel. This is DAG TV.